In this video, I'm gonna tell you that uh, how uh, we can connect uh, database from which is present in virtual machine like uh, let me share my screen first time sorry uh, i'm sharing my screen to where uh, my virtual machine is running you will be able to share see my screen and uh, this is the virtual machine my linux centos 7 is running on vmware version 15 and this is a virtual machine where my database is running like uh, a database uh, or Postgres pseudo system CTL status MySQLD. Uh, this is the command to uh, get the status of the MySQL uh, running. Uh, I have MySQL running version 8 and uh, in the same way my postgres postgres is also running uh ql 12 this is the server name postgres is also running and but uh, i want to see the status of the database and all the tables and uh, and all the databases which are present in uh, here so one thing what uh, I can do is uh, install, uh, see, for example, uh, if I want to see uh, my uh, Postgres, uh, I use PG, uh, PG admin for that, uh, PG admin for browser for that uh, in the windows. Uh, for that, uh, oh, sorry, I think I should use, uh, I think I should use, uh, uh, local host for that uh, pg admin i have installed pg admin in my centos win uh, virtual machine for that and here i can see all the postgres uh, databases but uh, uh, for mysql i have to use some other tool like uh, i am i use uh, mysql workbench for that uh, it, uh, this is installed in a uh, virtual machine, but uh, we have we know that there are some constraints that virtual machine has some limited memory and uh, limited uh, storage. So uh, most uh, storage and uh, memory is available in my host uh, machine, uh, as this is the case with m most of us all. So uh, here you can see the page admin login is screen is now visible after a lot of time so uh, we i personally prefer to use uh, see my databases on my host machine so for that i use a db ever on my host machine and uh, db ever uh, let me share db ever here db ever is a very great tool to uh, see my uh, databases for example mysql or postgres uh, here on my, uh, I I connect my host machine with the with the virtual machine with the help of the port. Uh, I get uh, from virtual machine uh, the command. Uh, let me take you to uh, command line interface and the command I use for that is if configure. This is the command we use to get all the. Uh, interface configurations of the virtual machine and here when i run this command in this ens 36 section this is the port which i can use to uh, get the databases uh, on my db ever uh, for that this is the port uh, address you can say of the of the virtual machine now let me take you again to the db ever this is the db ever and i will here i will use that port uh, edit connection, edit connection, or you can create new connection from uh, here. This is the uh, this is the plus button uh, from where we can create new connection as well. But uh, I have as I have already connected, so uh, I don't need to create a new connection. I have already connected my uh, Postgres of the to the virtual machine. Edit connection, and here I will give that. Uh, that port number there. what was that i think that was one that was 133 sports keep on changing i have to figure out some way that 
uh, like before it was 132 and now it is 133 and I, I have to go again, see that port and test connection. My test connection is successful and I am connected to the Postgres databases of my virtual machine. These are all the databases I am running and in the same way, uh, I can connect MySQL as well, like MySQL edit connection. It is 130 and 133 test connection. MySQL, unknown database, my database, sorry, default database. I should clear that now and test connection. MySQL is connected successfully. Here I can see that uh, MySQL running on my virtual machine is our unit. Uh, my SQL connected is successfully so now I think I should uh, I have uh, shared all the grant uh, this thing knowledge so I think I should now stop my screen and uh, that's it from now this uh, thank you see you next time